does mm -hmm. that networking process look like for you? What are some key things to remember when you're reaching out, especially you're, you're working with artists who are extremely notable, especially right now. So how do you find yourself getting through to them? I think it's, it's different with every single artist. Um, I think what I try and do, I try and like study the camp and see what producers the artists use and if they just use the open to use and a lot of different people. Or for some artists, they might only like to use their producer that they've signed. They might like to keep everything in-house. Um, so if it was a situation like that where uh, an artist only works with the producer they've signed, you have to collab with that producer um, if you want to get to that artist. And that's a good method. Uh, another another method is just to hit up engineers, managers, A and R's, just hit up the camp around the artist, because yeah, the artists I... are usually not checking their messages for beats and stuff. Yeah, I think that's a a great hack and something that I've actually encouraged is like finding who surrounds the artist that you want to work with, getting to know their team, but also mm. building a genuine relationship. Can yeah, you... that's another thing as well. It's got to be genuine. It can't be transactional because yeah. I mean, if you try and it's not gonna work if it's if it's not genuine.